the Letters for Mercy comes from, um, it was a community effort really, and it started with uh, the faith community here, um, the Matthew 25 project for the M, the E is for East, the collaboration we had with East Carolina, C is for, or R is for our religious community. We had um, a couple of pastors and the director of RCS um, here in New Bern saw a need for um, health care for those that didn't have access to it. So it really has been a, a community effort to bring mercy forward and to uh, serve, service our, our population. We don't actually treat anybody who has insurance at this time. We serve adults 18 to 64 who aren't eligible for Medicaid or Medicare, so you have to be uninsured, uh, and within 300% of the federal poverty limit. So to put that in, into context, if you're uh, an individual earning less than $36,000 a year, then you are a potential patient uh, for Mercy Clinic. And we provide primary care for adults. Um, we also do have some specialty clinics that we run periodically here. We do physical therapy, we do nerve conduction, we have a, a woman's clinic, and we also do dental, limited dental. However, you have to be a patient of Mercy Clinic for a year before you can actually be considered to be a, a dental patient. Our patients are um, 18 to 64, uninsured. Uh, ineligible for Medicaid or Medicare. We don't exist without our volunteers. I mean, Mercy Clinic exists because we are supported by the community, not just financially, but with people's giftings of their times and talent. Uh, all of our providers, our doctors, are volunteers. Most of them are retired, and so they've, they've con committed to supporting Mercy by doing shifts here. Most of our staff at this point, just because of limitation to access to nursing staff, um, our staff, our nurses mostly are, are paid at this point, but um, we have volunteers who work in the pharmacy, we have volunteers that work in our eligibility area, we have volunteers that just file papers for us, and we have nurse volunteers. I mean, we don't work without the volunteers, and the, our community members are just ridiculously generous with their time. So I think that um, people assume that you have to be like really, really poor to be a patient here at Mercy Clinic. And once Medicaid expansion goes into, into effect here in the state, we will be serving uh, people who are within 138% and 300% of the federal poverty level. And just to put that in context for a single person, uh, can earn up to about $43,000 and be eligible to be a, a patient here at Mercy Clinic. So I think there's people don't quite understand who we serve. It's a lot broader than people might think. So if you have any questions, just give us a call and somebody would be happy to, to, to help you with that because we really, we really are here to try and get as many people health care as we possibly can.